Hey everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb, and I would like to introduce to you today structured data and how it helps for your SEO efforts. So what is structured data, first of all? Structured data is a way for you to present your information to the search engine so they can understand what your web pages are about. And there's certain common structures that you can use to emphasize certain things in common, okay? And why do you wanna do that? So if the search engines can understand what your web pages are about, they can help rank you for the things that are relevant to you, right? If they don't understand what you're about, obviously they can't rank you and you can't get business and traffic. So what is structured data? It helps with two things. Number one, it helps the search engines understand what you're talking about. Number two, it helps display more rich features in the search engine. Okay, so what does that mean? Let me give you an example or two. So when I, as a customer, as a visitor, as a searcher, I go to the website and I go to Google and I type in something, for example, leather band. Uh, aside from ads and all these other things, there's organic results. So this one is not an ad, this is organic. So this, this is a normal listing. There's a URL, there's a title, there's a description, again and again. Now, if you have structured data, Google can show more rich data, basically more information, more colors, more rows, more things like that. So if I scroll down below, you'll notice, let me go right here. Okay, let me search for another one. You'll notice that in some listings, for example, not just a URL, a title, and a description, you'll also have, for example, a star rating and number reviews, right? So th this is what we call the product structured data. So if you have, if your web page is an actual product, it has reviews, it has price, it has things like that. We can show more information and emphasize that so the searcher can understand what your product is about earlier and then basically get them to your website and obviously it can stand out, right? So this stands out more than this listing, right? So if you don't have structured data, you may not stand out. Okay, let me give you another example. So recipes, for example, if you have an, a website, a blog information about recipes, your recipes can look like this, right? Or they can look like this, right? So you have ratings and you have the time of preparation and reviews and they can look like this. So they enhanced it from regular links, right? Just regular, regular links to things that have images and more information right here, okay? Same thing goes for businesses. If you search for businesses, for example, for example, Nike, I also got this extra information right here, which has more information about the corporate, the company, the social media, popular products, etc. Okay, and a few other things, right? So this is, you know, games, games and events, they also have structured data. And many, many more things, right? And for example, if I search for the business, I can also have a search box that searches inside the website. So there's many, many different things for structured data. So how do you know what is possible for structured data? Very simply, I'm gonna put this in the URL on the YouTube video. And if you go here, you can actually see all of the different types of structured data that Google offers. Articles, it can enhance it as the article. Uh, book, information about books and costs, etc. Breadcrumbs on their website right here. Carousel, right, having multiple results in one gallery, a course, a review, some kind of data set, usually for universities or research, uh, employer events, okay, fact checking, FAQs of your, your website, activities, how to's, image licenses, actually information about the images for photographer, job posting, job training, local businesses, good if you have many locations, your logo, a movie, salary, podcast, product, et cetera, et cetera, okay? So um, what can you do with this, okay? So once you go here and you decide that your website has a certain structured data you wanna do, what do you need to actually do, okay? So what you need to do is you need to modify the code of the website. And if you go here, let's go to product, for example, okay? I'm gonna click and get started. Now, this is for a developer, but I just wanna explain the, the basic concept of it, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna to have to decide how, you, the, the developer's gonna to have to decide how you wanna input that data, either via the HTML, for example, microdata, which is the traditional way, so you can add some extra tags, or the, the most, most preferred way 
is to actually use some kind of JavaScript. They, they call it JSON-LD. And so what you're going to do is you're going to input that information into your pages. And th that information is going to specify the details of that structured data. So if we're talking about product, it would have the product name, the product image, the product brand, etc. If we're talking about recipes, it would have the recipe list, the calories, the time for preparation, these kind of things. Okay. So what you're going to need to do is have your developer add some code. And once you do that, so the last part of this video is once you actually add code, how do you validate that it actually looks good and it works correctly? Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to actually go to the rich results test or the structured data testing tool. And what you're going to do is you're going to input a URL. For example, I'm going to input the URL for this Google store uh, Chromecast product. Okay? It's a product page. When I do that, it's going to load the code in the HTML on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, it's going to show you what it found, what type of structured data did it find. In this case, I only found one type of structured data for this specific page, which is product. And it shows how many errors and warnings there are. Okay, so I can click on preview. And I can see an example. Okay, so here there's it shows the price and it shows me stock availability. Okay, so here I can see all of the data, the description, the name, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. And here's some warnings, things that Google recommends to have but are not required. Okay, so for example, image and skew. And this is why you don't have an image here because it wasn't right. So you can enhance that and you can test it. That's basically it. So I hope this makes sense to you guys. If you have any questions about details, about specific structured data, about anything, let me know. Uh, even code uh, snippet issues, I'd be happy to, to uh, provide some feedback. Hope you enjoyed this video and try to put structured data. It helps, it enhances your search results. It helps with your SEO efforts. It's not a, a major project to do. Try to do that and uh, good luck guys, thanks.